Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again. Today we are starting a brand new unit, which is Unit 5, and today we're starting Lesson 5-1. Now, this is going to be very similar to a lesson we did a few weeks ago. So if you thought this was easy uh, when we first covered this, then this is just going to be a nice, fun refresher for you. Um, but if you had trouble with this the first time, well, this is your lucky day. We're going to go over it again, make sure that you understand it very well, and... Uh, we're even going to go over a new version of uh, this method that we're going to be doing today. So the first three we do are going to look super familiar and maybe even fun. And then the last one we do is going to look a little different. Might be a little scary, but I promise you it's not scary. Okay, so today, guys, we are finding the missing number in any equation. So remember, any equation, it just means a number sentence. So when I say equation, it just means number sentence and vice versa. So they gave us one already. It says 7 plus something equals 13. Now, I gave you guys a very nice, easy strategy before where you could um, just remember that this first number is your start number. right? If you're using a number line, this is just your start number. And then this total is your end number on a number line. Remember, this is just if you're using a number line. If you prefer drawing pictures, I can show you how to draw some pictures as well. All right, so no biggie. Okay, so now here is our number line that we can use on the screen. You can use one that's in front of you if you like, or if there's one on the wall. Uh, remember, so our first number is our start number, so we just put a dot on that. Or if you have one on your desk, you just put one finger on that number. And then you keep that finger there. And then you have your end number. Well, I'm going to put a dot there. And all you're going to do is take your other pointer finger on your other hand and put it on the 13. Now we're only going to move one of these fingers. Or in my case, one of these dots. So I like to move from the smallest to the biggest. And uh, if you would like, you can just only move that finger too. Okay, so you're going to keep your finger on the 13, and we're going to use our finger that's on the 7 to jump. So let's figure out our jump number that's right here in the middle. This is the one that we're missing, right? How many jumps it takes to get from 7 to 13. So let's go ahead and do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I took me six jumps, so that means our missing number is six. So seven plus six can equal 13. Now, uh, maybe you really like drawing pictures, which is going to be more time consuming. So I'm going to let you guys know that right now. It's going to take much longer to solve this using a picture than it is with the number line. Okay, so uh, if you're choosing to draw a picture instead, you got to make sure that you take extra time, that you don't get frustrated, and you're extra careful. So now if I want to solve this with um, some pictures, first I'm going to do is draw my total, which is 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, what I'm about to do is something we kind of learned last unit about related facts and fact families. So instead of adding on, what I'm going to do is actually take away. Because if I take 13 minus 7, that will give us the missing part too. Remember, we can take these two same numbers and make a subtraction fact out of it because they're related. There's a whole fact family going on here, and we can use one of these other facts that are related to it to help us solve. So now this looks a little bit more friendly, I guess, right? 13 minus 7, and all I'm going to do is cross out 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, remember, whenever we're crossing out shapes, we always work backwards. And now all I have to do next is count how many are left. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, 
and 6. I have 6 circles left. And we got the same exact answer as we did up here. Right? It's the exact same answer. No matter how you choose to solve it, you will get the correct answer as long as you're just careful. Okay? Don't never rush through these. Always take your time. All right? So we have our uh, number line that we can use if we if we want to, and we also have uh, a quick picture we can make if we feel that is easier for you. Okay, remember, I'm not going to say you have to pick one or you have to do only one way. You can pick any way that works. All right, so let's go on to the next page. We're going to be on page 214 next. All right, here's page 214. Now, I know they kind, of, uh, they kind of did number one for us already, but I just want to walk through it with you guys to make sure that you know the steps that you can take. Okay, so we have 14 minus blank equals 7. We need to find that missing number. Well, if we want to use this picture below, we can just take away 7 because we have our total, and we need to take away one part to find the other part. That's it. So, we can cross out these. 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7. I crossed out 7 because that was the part right there. And I just count how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I have 7 dots left. Now if I wanted to use the number line, I can do that too. I can just put a dot on my big number, right? Put a dot on the big number. Put a dot on my little 7. And now all I need to do is just move one finger. So I like to move the fingers on the smallest number and make that do all the jumping. And then that should give me the same answer if I did it correctly. So let's try it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it took me seven jumps. I got the same answer that I did with the picture. So I did it the right way. I did it correctly. Now let me just take that away real quick here because we're going to need that for some other ones. Now normally I uh, completely avoid this section here, but today since it kind of gives us an extra practice problem, we're going to give it a shot. So it says, what is the missing number in the equation blank minus, I'm sorry, blank plus four equals nine? Well, even though this, and there's a reason I want to do this. There is a reason. So you can see that it's written differently. First, they put the blank first, then the four, right? And then they give us our big total at the end. We know that this is the nine is our total because we have a plus sign, right? The main difference that you'll notice is that they didn't put that blank space in the middle. So you might be thinking, oh my gosh, that totally changes everything. I don't know what to do. No, no, no. Still do it the same way. Whatever number they give you, make that your start number. Okay, don't change what we've, what we've been doing. Keep that your start number. And keep this 9 your end number. And then you're still going to make your jumps. And that number will go in the blank spot. If it helps, you can always rewrite it the uh, way we're used to, where you get the, the 4 first equals blank, I mean, sorry, plus blank equals 9. It's the same exact thing. They, they will give you the same answer. You're going to use the same method. No matter what, this 4 is going to be your start number. And this 9 will be your end number. Okay? And I'll go ahead and make those dots. Put down the 4. Put a dot on the 9. Go ahead and solve this one completely on your own, and we'll go over it together. All right, if you're all done, we're going to go over it. But if you're still working, pause the video. Take your time with it. Don't rush. Because when we rush through math, that's how we always make mistakes. OK, 
Okay, so here we go. So now I already have my start number right, which is 4, because that's the part that they gave me. And my ending number is 9, because that's the big number that they gave me. Ooh, got to finish writing the word end. Silly me. Okay, and now we're just going to jump from one number to the next to see how many jumps it takes. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, we know that this missing number is 5. And, it's just going to be, if you rewrote it, it's going to be the same number right here. Because these two parts make 9. No matter how you write it, 5 is the answer. Alright, let's look at number 2 now. Let's take these uh, dots away so we can keep using that number line there. Alright, 5 again here. Right there. Now let's try number 2. Now they did this a little differently again. So if uh, what they are doing with these circles doesn't make sense to you, you don't have to use them. You can always use our number line. Remember, the 4 is our start, and the 12 is our end. Okay, but they did draw one part of the circles. They have four circles. If you want to use a picture to help you solve this, what they are wanting you to do is to draw until you get a total of 12 and then count the circles that you just drew for your answer. Okay? Now you can use any method you want, but I want you to try number two completely on your own. All right, now if you're still working, pause the video and take your time. If you're all done, let's go over this together. Okay, so first I'm going to use my uh, circles right here. Let me change the color up. So if you were using the circles, we know we have four, and we're just going to count on until we reach 12. So after four, we have five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So right now I have a total of 10 circles. And I gotta keep drawing because I didn't reach that 12 yet. After 10 we have 11. After 11 we have 12. And now I'm just gonna count the circles that I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I know that 4 plus 8 equals 12. Now, if you wanted to use the number line instead, here's how it would look. You have your start number, which is 4, so I put a dot on the 4. Uh, my end number is 12, so I put a dot on the 12. Now I'm just going to jump from the 4 to 12, see how many jumps it takes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It took me 8 jumps, and down here we drew 8 circles. And no matter what, we get 8 as our answer. Okay, let's go on to page 215. And uh, we're going to do one more together, and I'm going to explain why we're doing this last one together, because it's going to look a bit weird. It's going to look a little weird, okay? So let's go check it out. Okay, so here's page 215, and here's the reason... Oops, <laughs> that was a... Bad circle I just, just did. Let's try it again. There we go. And uh, we're going to check out number three real quick. Now, just because we know that there will always be one missing number in all these problems does not mean it's always going to be a small part that's missing. It could be just a total that's missing, too. So if you look at number three, it says blank minus nine. That is the really important thing this minus sign. Something minus 9 will equal 8. And you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, how do I solve this? Well, don't forget there's always related facts. And we could change this into an addition problem very easy. 
we can say, you know what? Uh, instead of doing a picture or something, you could just say, uh, you know what? I do know that 9 plus 8 equals a special number 2. And since we're using the same parts, you will get the same correct answer. And um, you can, of course, use the number line in the same way. Since we don't know the total, we actually have to treat this like an addition problem. I know it sounds a little weird, but trust me, okay? Uh, another way you could do this is by, you could draw, you could draw nine circles and then eight circles and then whatever your total is will be your answer. Because And we know that we need a big number because, like I said before, we have a subtraction sign here and this first number in any subtraction sentence must be a big number. It has to be. So be very careful with these problems and this is why I'm telling you to take your time. Alright? So uh, I'm going to let you go ahead and try number three on your own and then we'll go over it together. All right, if you're still working, pause the video. But if you're all done, let's review it together and make sure that you're taking the correct steps. Okay, so we have nine and eight, right? We need to figure out this big number that goes at the beginning of this uh, subtraction problem. So like I said, we can treat it like an addition problem to find that big number. I'm gonna start at nine and make eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and I land on 17 so that's telling me that 17 minus 9 will give me 8 uh, also if you wanted to draw you could do that too I could draw nine circles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and now in a different color I'll draw eight circles 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I know it's a little sloppy, but it's okay. So I have nine up here, counting on from nine. I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And either way, I get 17 as my answer, okay? So just be careful. They want you to be able to solve any uh, addition or subtraction problem with any number missing. All right, so that's what we're just practicing today. All right, we've done this before. Uh, so if you're having some trouble with this, make sure you let me know. Um, but hopefully this helps. Hopefully you guys are getting anything. It's just kind of fun and easy. Uh, have fun. <laughs> so hopefully this video helped. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.